Hello subscribers and return viewers and new subscribers and new viewers. On Saturday we do a movie uh, review as well as on Thursdays. And today uh, we're looking at another uh, remake versus an original or an original versus a remake. And today is another car movie. And uh, it is the turn of the Italian job and uh, what I like and don't like uh, about uh, both of them. And this one is just class, pure, pure class. Excellent cast, uh, just everything about this movie is just 100% class. If you want to know how to make a movie, watch something like this. It's just absolutely excellent and uh, even in you know scenes like how they were hacking uh, the traffic system back in the 60s uh, is just uh, really really good it's just great and the theme song and everything is just 100% uh, if you haven't there uh, 1000% if you have not seen this uh, please do so um, this is what the back of it looks like Money Spider typos, we're not even going to pause for that one. Michael Keane is fantastic in it. Who else is in it? Benny Hill, a chap called Benny Hill is actually in this one. And there's what the DVD, the Blu ray looks like. And that, nah, there's no way uh, what calls uh, numbers in it. Not much really in the, in the CD, in the case. So it's very just, very standard. 40th anniversary, it's all in lockdown and a totally enjoyable uh, film and uh, just well executed, well well acted and very 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 memorable and again a definite uh, thousand percent. The remake, I have mixed feelings about the remake. Uh, I like it as a film all by itself. I, I like the cast it's a little bit like J.J. Um, uh, Abrams' uh, Star Trek films, where the films themselves were rubbish, but uh, kind of the thing that held them together was uh, the cast, but they had no script. And this kind of felt a little bit like like that. He had an excellent cast. Uh, he had Mark Wahlberg, uh, Charlie Thornton, uh, Edward Norton, uh, Donald Sutherland, and you had uh, Jason Staten. And on paper, that looks looks very, very good. I uh, just wish it was its own heist. And because uh, uh, calling it the Italian job and just kind of having complimentary minis drive around at A and kind of, yeah, it was a little bit uh, meh, is what I would say. And then uh, what they also done in this uh, uh, remake was... Um, they had the singer from Stone Temple Pilots, another band I've never listened to, who I believe is passed on, and Slash uh, do a cover version of Pink Floyd's Money. <laughs> that was the theme song. <laughs> and uh, it just, it kind of, it kind of wanted to be, its, it was screaming to be its own thing, rather than be a remake. And it, it kind of it was just a waste. It was a real, real waste of an opportunity. And um, I would uh, I would give this a 5 out of 10. I won't even give it a 10 out of 10. And normally I prefer to uh, talk something up. But uh, this was just a, such a lost opportunity. Um, and again, uh, I wanted to enjoy it. And uh, again, I just I'm I'm repeating myself here. It should have been just its own movie, really, and it would have been much better. And they could have had to uh, be a bit more creative, uh, rather than trying to fill the big shoes of the uh, the original. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of uh, there's no comparison, really. Uh, let me know what you think of. Uh, do you actually like a? Uh, remake of uh, the the Italian job. Uh, I, again, as I said, I, I like the cast, but they didn't have a lot to go on, really. 
It was a waste, an absolute waste of a cast, if you ask me. And uh, again, uh, I'm repeating myself. Um, what's on the back? There you go. Edward Norton was great in it. And it's, uh, he was in uh, the, the Line of Fire, I think. He was the paddy in that. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is just the inside. Nothing else. Picked it up in a charity shop as per usual. I uh, just wanted to see. I uh, like Jason Statham. And uh, he kind of just uh, didn't have a lot to say in this movie. He was just silent. And uh, <coughs> uh, did his uh, role. And he usually does great narrating in a lot of his roles. And I quite like a lot of his uh, movies. And I do have a lot of them. So that will be another uh, a ranking of uh, Jason Statham movies will be in the works after I've kind of gone uh, and watched, uh, re-watched them a few times over. Anyway, uh, if you stuck out for me uh, rambling and repeating myself, I thank you ever so much. Uh, you've been an, an absolutely fantastic uh, audience. Please let me know uh, what you think of uh, these two films and uh, let me know uh, which one you liked uh, the best. Uh, I, I would be very much interested in finding out. So thank you, and we will talk to you again in the next video.